what is going on everybody so today i'm going to share a video of a red sea peninsula style tank that was coming apart at the seams now um this customer had this tank for a bit but honestly it, it, it's been less than seven years so and you know it became a problem not crazy long now if anybody knows these red sea aquariums um the first generation these older tanks have had problems and i'm going to take you guys uh, through this video and i'm going to show you exactly what went wrong with this tank and then also the cool part of we got a brand new tank and we set it up in the process of that too so enjoy now if you watch my videos you know that this tank had given us some problems we were fighting a tough battle with dinoflagellates and diatoms and we finally swung the the balance in our favor and this tank is looking amazing it's got the corals look great it's got tons of coralline algae growth the anemones look great the fish are doing amazing everything is just finally coming together and we were at the point where we were starting to put a bunch of cool little frags in here and no doubt in my mind that they were going to grow really well but the fact that the rocks are just covered in coralline algae every coral that we put in here was just doing so well we finally felt like we reached a good place that is until this right here take a good look at that that is the seam slowly coming apart and it's getting worse and worse every time we come here which is every two weeks and it's starting to get deeper and deeper into the area that's important which this is kind of frightening because this tank is starting to separate from the seams and it's spreading through the tank and it's just not safe anymore to have this tank running which is a dang shame now this is not the first time we've dealt with red seas this is actually our third red sea of this generation to have a problem now they did sell this aftermarket piece right here this little brace that you install afterwards um, i'm assuming to help steady the tank so something like this would not happen but it obviously didn't work this was installed a couple i guess whenever it came out in the market we we installed it but um it doesn't seem to be enough obviously so it's very frustrating um that this is happening to the tank especially because we got the tank to where it looks great like the corals are really starting to do good uh, the you know the tanks matured it's just really frustrating to have to um and for the customer mainly to you know put money into a tank and to finally get it to where you need it to be just to be told it has to come down and that's what we had to do we have to drain the tank we have to take all the livestock out of it this is a lot of work because the tank has to come down because it is no longer safe and we cannot risk this tank busting and just getting water all over these beautiful hardwood floors it's just not worth the risk so so we got to make sure everything thrives and lives while we get the new tank ready and I just want to go over just to look at the tank now that kind of everything's out of here there's a lot of flaws i find with these aquariums that i didn't notice originally but i mean that's just what was that pressure wood or something pressure compacted wood that's holding up this heavy tank like that's doesn't seem like enough bracing and you can see almost where the slope happens how the the the, the tank kind of slopes in and even with that brace it just doesn't seem like it's enough to keep this aquarium up it just seems like it's just too heavy for the stand Keep in mind, this is a pretty pricey aquarium uh, when it originally came out. And I'm assuming because of the design flaw, this, is the, this was a solution. This little brace was supposed to level the tank and keep what happened from happening. And it obviously didn't work well. This little brace didn't work well. Who knew? So we're going to go to the dumpster and dump that tank. Now we look at the new frame of the G2 and look at this. Much more sturdy. Aluminum stand, solid. Uh-huh. Way better than how they did it before. Uh-huh. Yeah. Much more confident in this build. The other thing with the new tanks, they're braced. So before you didn't have this brace on them, it was just the glass. Now they're braced inside here. This thing is an absolute monster of an aquarium. So nice. Twice as heavy as the other one. Twice as heavy as the other one. Euro brace. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. It's not as long, but it's taller and it's wider. Better for our escape. It is, yep. That was not an easy lift. We got the hydraulic car here, but we were able to get this beast of a tank into the customers. Uh, in the spot that they're at, sorry, out of breath. Um, I do a little bit, uh, redo a little bit of the trim so it fits snug 
This tank is much taller than the previous Peninsula Red Sea made. So um, yeah, trying to get it in this little space and redoing the framework here was quite the adventure, but uh, we're, we're there. Thank God for this hydraulic cart that we invested in. All right, so here we are a week later after we put everything back and got the tank set up and stuff like that. And this will be the first service since we got the tank uh, in and the livestock in. And I want, I'm really curious how the, everything's gonna look um, because it was a heck of a process. So we got all the fish in, got the water in, aquascaped the best we could and we left. Here we are a week later. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, and here we are back in action. Wow. What a beautiful tank and I was really really nervous that this was gonna be a problem and we were gonna have a little bit of a setback which I still think we will but things look great so far the enemies look good this guy looks better than ever this coral's doing I mean wow everything looks great even the brown on the sand is gone let's take a look at the other side we proceed over here and all the fish did well look at that her clown there our little dove snails on the um, zoas look good there's a duncan coral all the fish survived look great that's a big win it's funny because all the anemones there was one here there's one there there's one there and it's split there's four anemones now after all that these always look like they're getting tagged a little bit by this anemone but wow, look at this. Looks great. Very happy with the way things ended up being. And more importantly, we didn't lose any of the fish. Everybody's still here. And that was a stressful situation, but very happy that this is where we're at. As far as the aquarium goes, man, that fits really nice in here. Lights are a little bit closer, but look at that. It's a little bit higher. It's more, so I'm standing and I'm seeing more of an even level. I'm not having to look down. And what about the other side? Let me get a clear look at that. Let's go over here. And wow, perfectly like a TV, like a flat screen TV. That looks amazing. So we just saw the tank and how it looks now. This is the man who did the aquascape. It looks amazing. Is the camera on me right now? The camera is on you. Oh, hello you, everyone. You did an amazing scape. Tank looks awesome. Thank you, Chris. Uh, it's been about a week later since you reset everything up. Mm -hmm. And that was hard work. That was, that was no joke doing all that. That install was a beast. Fitting that tank, that heavy tank in that narrow uh, space that we had for it. That was, uh, that was a lot. Kaylee. So I'm very happy. Uh, we did a lot of work there. Um, it was tedious, it was tough, but the end result looks amazing. His aquascape was amazing. So and stay tuned because this tank, I'm telling you right now, this is us from beginning to end. Quarantine fish, quarantine coral, everything. We're gonna design this tank, we're gonna make it look amazing. So stay tuned because this is just the beginning. This tank already looks good and it's just gonna look better going forward. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Chris.